Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. When you visit Japan, of course you don't have much time to visit every Gundam store. So I made this this piece on my experiences. I also wrote information about what types of Gundam are sold in that shop. It can be regular, it can be left limited or premium Bandai and metal bill. And once again, it is based on my own experiences. Everyone experiences can be different. So feel free to write in the comment section if you have another good shop in mind. It will help other people who watch this video. In number 10, I choose Yotobashi Akihabara. I believe everybody who has come to Akihabara must know about Yotobashi Camera. Actually, Yotobashi are retail chain store which sells electronics. But, they have large space in the 8th floor which sell many toys and models, including Gundam. Mostly what being sold here are regular Gundam, which released recently. With 10% tax free after spending 5,000 yen, you can get Gundam a bit cheaper here, but you can't buy as many as you want. They give some limitation, maximum of 5 Gundams, and one for each type. In number 9, we have Yellow Submarine. Yellow Submarines located in the 6th floor of Radio Kaikan building. Radio Kaikan is fully famous for its toy shop from 4th floor to the 9th floor. And one of them is Yellow Submarines. Yellow Submarines sell many kinds of toys inside just like Ami Ami in 4th floor. They have a very nice selection of scale model kits, plus tons of supplies and accessories. A part spider dice for Kundam. I like that. The product here are well organized and easy to find. The aisle inside's store are wide, and the space is comfortable to spend time in. Number 8, we have Yamada Denki Lab 1. When we talk about Gundam Shop, this place is rarely mentioned, especially for foreigners. I rarely meet non-Japanese people who search for Gundam here. The store name is Yamada Denki Lab 1. The one in the video is located in Ikebukuro. They have a large space for Gundam products, although all of them are just regular Gundam. But you have more choices here. They also provide tax refunds for non-Japanese. This place might be similar with Yodobashi Kamera in Akihabara. So you can try to visit here when you're around. You can also find many model kits other than Gundam. In number 7, we have X Akihabara. When the first time I saw the store on the 5th floor of Kaidu Kaikan, I never expect to see some good Gundam here. The store is small and only have one row of cabinets that sells Gundam. I thought it will be the same as Ami Ami and Yellow Submarines. But, they do sell many limited Gundam and metal build. From what I've seen so far in Radu Kaikan building, maybe only in the store I found limited Gundam and metal build. The price here is non-tax free, and for many products, a bit pricey for me. But I believe it doesn't matter when you find the item that you want. Because limited items are hard to find. And for your information, many limited items in every toy store in Japan can rise high. It depends on the current market situation in Japan. Especially for premium Bandai, in many cases the price has risen really high since its release. So the next on the list will be Trader Akihabara. There are several trader locations in Akihabara, but this will likely be the first one you come on. Located in the main street of Akihabara Electric Town, just next to Big Camera. Right there is a retail shop which sells many kinds of second hand products. Gundam is located on the fourth floor, although it's not so large, most Gundam collection here are limited or premium of the item. You can also find some metal build here. The coordination of the items can be read in its box. It is a great place for the Gudam hunting in Akihabara.
Now let's talk about Mandarake Complex. And once again it is in Akihabara. It is a tax-free sub for non-Japanese after you spend a total of 5,000 yen in all floor. The Gunam section is located on the top floor. The stop can be checked via their website. If you are looking for some real metal bail and limited condom, Mandareki is one of the best options you have. At Suli, in this Mandareki complex the options are not as many as in Akano, because here it makes with another kind of toys, not one whole floor for Gundam, but still one of the best place to serve, or limited Gundam. In number 4 we have the Gundam Beast Tokyo. The Gundam Beast Tokyo might be the most famous Gundam shop in Tokyo. It becomes the center of Gundam in Japan. Located inside Ever City Mall, it surely gave different shopping experiences. From the entrance, you can see many models showcasing the history of Gundam. And of course, a variety of Gundam for Kulchase. Many regular and limited Gundam can be found here. Some people come here to hunt for the Gundam based limited products. The prices here are thus included. The maximum I want to buy its percent is 10 items with no double items. In third position we have Mandarake Nakano. Mandarake Nakano located inside Nakano Broadway, an alternative place to find toys outside Akihabara. Nakano Broadway is a must-visit place for any anime Gundam and other quotable toys. Mandarake has many specialty shops here and one of them is Mandarake 2, the Gundam specialty store. Many cans of Gundam can be found here, from vintage to the newest one. The prices are very, because it can depend on the conditions. If the boxes are damaged, it will be less expensive. The stocks here change daily. Sometimes they have a lot of stocks and sometimes they only have limited stocks. So if you find what you are looking for here, just buy it. In second position, we have Surugaya Akihabara. Now let's head into Surugaya Akihabara plastic model store. Surugaya occupies two floor. The one with Kudam inside is located on the second floor. The place is not so big, but the inside is full of rare or limited Kudam products. Most of the items are second hand. At a glance it will look a bit pricey, but the prices depend on the conditions. You might find two same items with different prices. The difference might be the box conditions, so you need to look carefully and not on a hurry. And the champion in my list is Otachu Akihabara. Otachu Akihabara became my number one in my list. The location is easy to reach, near the exit of JR Akihabara. The store is fast, with thousands of products of all kinds of condom being displayed. They sell regular condoms, most of them are from their old storyline. The collections of limited condom and metal bill here might be one of the most completed in Tokyo, arguably one of the best condom stores in Japan. I like how the products are arranged by the storylines, make it easy to find what we are looking for. Any crates of condom can be spotted here, the stocks change daily, make me because people can sell their collection here. The store is always full of visitors. The prices can be pricey, but for limited item seekers, this store is a must-visit shop. Thank you for watching. I hope this video can help you to find your kingdom. Please subscribe for more updates. Cheers!